Namaste, I am Acharya Pratishtha and I welcome you to this Sunday special episode of Yoga with Acharya Pratishtha. Today we are talking about diet. Diet, which is one of the most important aspects of yoga. Unfortunately, people think that yoga is just a mere set of physical exercises, but it is not. Yoga is a science, it is a way of life that teaches us how to live how to sleep, how to wake up, how to eat, how to do every single thing, how to live and even how to live your life, how to die. Ahar, diet is very important aspect of yoga and in my fifth book, Yoga for Healthy Life, I have shared a separate chapter on diet. Those who have my book, uh, can read it from there and in today's episode I will be sharing 10 very simple points to just observe and to adapt right diet in your life. In today's time of fancy diets and latest different fads on diet, there are so many people who are confused on what to eat and what not to eat. Uh, how many proteins to take, how many calories to take, how many vitamins to take and lot of other things. But I am sharing these 10 simple ways through which you can decide the right diet for you and you will be able to make a difference on what to eat, how to eat, when to eat and lot of other things. So let's start. Diet does not only affect your physical well-being but also your thoughts, your emotions, your mental health. Diet plays an important role in all of this. And in Hindi there is a beautiful saying, Jaisa khai an, vaisa hoi man, vaisa hoi tan, vaisa hoi jivan. So your diet decides, it depends on your diet, what kind of body you will have, what kind of mind you will have and what kind of life you will have. So it is very very important to be very careful on what you are eating. According to yog yogic diet or according to Ayurveda, diet is divided into three, as three parts, sattvic, rajasic and tamasic. Just have a look what all is there in sattvic diet, rajasic diet and tamasic diet. There is a very beautiful Ayurvedic saying, when diet is wrong, medicine is of no use and when diet is right, Medicine is of no need. So if you are having good and right diet, you don't need medicine. But if you are ha having wrong diet, even medicine can't help you. So most important thing is to decide what to eat, what should be your diet. Fourth point is very, very important. As per according to Hat Yoga Pradipika, food means fresh. Food means natural. Now just look at the food we are eating in today's era. It is all packed food. It is all dabbaband food. Well, it is as we talk about fresh and natural food, even if we are taking freshly cooked food, freshly cooked food, not the food which we keep in fridge for so much of time and then reheat and then eat. But Keeping in mind today's circumstances, situations in which people are living, okay fine, you can at least have food which is cooked three hours before. But what to say of three hours? We are eating food which is three days old, three weeks old, three months old and sometimes even three years old. And we are just looking at the expiry date of those dabbas, looking at those expiry dates, our expiry date comes near to us. So, don't fall into this trap of dabba food. Food means fresh, food means natural. Stuck to natural food, stuck to fresh food and say no to packed food, say no to stale food, say no to reheated food, say no to all the dabba foods. Fifth point is quantity of food. Now quantity of food is very very important how much you are eating. Now it is straight away connected to your physical exercises. It is just about income and expenditure. So what is your income and what is your expenditure? If you are working too hard, eat good. Eat 
plenty but if you are not working too hard you are not taking much work from your body you are not doing so much of physical activity you should be eating as per that only and then if when we talk about quantity ati sarvatra varjayet access of everything is wrong you should not be eating too much and you should not be eating too less so it is said that you know you should eat half of your diet and then should leave one fourth portion for air and one fourth portion in your stomach for water this is the rule that uh, should be followed by yogis and by all those who want to stay healthy so your food should be very simple you can't calculate the quantity of your food with a calculator or you know this much this much this much no your body will tell you how much is required many time when you overeat you tell it to yourself oh my my god i have eaten too much most of the time when you are starving you tell yourself i'm starving and that brings irritation that brings anger and lot of other things so your body is the best judge and you are the best judge for yourself your body tells you yourself this is enough stop now so quantity of food is very very important we have to eat to live we don't have to live to eat jeene ke liye khana hai khane ke liye nahi jeena this we must remember sixth is timing of your food what time are you eating you are eating very healthy food you are eating the quantity is also good but at what time you are eating are you eating whole day are you eating in at the midnight are you eating any time of the day no you should be very careful about what time you are eating as per the yogic diet 7 in the evening should be your last meal 7 in the sense it is said that after sunset you should not eat if you really want to have good digestion and you want to live a healthy life so make sure after sunset you should not eat maximum by 7 your meals should be done your kitchen should be closed by 7 if you really want to be healthy and other than that as i have shared so many times the fire pyramid of your uh, diet if you want a body like this eat like this breakfast lunch dinner if you want a body like this eat like this very little breakfast lunch and too heavy dinner so you will be having body like this i'm sure everybody wants body like this eat very healthy uh, breakfast uh, preferably have fresh fruits you can have uh, nuts in your breakfast you can also have buttermilk in your breakfast you can have fresh juices not dabba juices but fresh juices on your breakfast so have a nice healthy you can have dalia in your diet so have healthy nice breakfast then your lunch and then uh, dinner should be very less and by 7 you should close your kitchen seventh is who should be the your cook who is your cook that is very very important because food is not a dead thing that you are eating food is something which has lot of emotions in it that's why i said jaisa khai an paisa hoy man so it also affects your mental health who is cooking food for you the one who is stressed if a stressed person is cooking food for you same stress will come in your food and will enter your body if one who is in pain is cooking food for you same emotions will come one who is happy one who is chanting mantras one who is listening to the soothing music one who is emotionally attached to you that's why it is said maa ke haath ka khana mother's food is world's best and tastiest food one who is cooking food for you what is the emotion of that person if you are eating food outside there is no emotion in that food and whatever emotion that person is having in his or her personal life that is the emotion you are eating then if you your domestic help is cooking for you and he or she is thinking oh you know i should have put so much of nuts in my son's food same emotions are going inside you so she is not happy cooking for you when your mother is cooking for you or any of other family member who is in love with you because mother mother's love for child is the most selfless love in this entire world same emotions will come so who is cooking food for you is very very important eighth is our nature and diet now what is our root nature 
let me just give you a very simple example there is one of my student who is uh, suffering from depression and he called me just few days back he 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 he's okay now but he just called me few days back and said acharya ji i'm not feeling very happy i said go and eat your ghar ka desi khana desi khana in the sense the food which you had been eating since your uh, since since you were born since you were born means since your childhood so he said i i had puri kachori and i felt really happy so what is your basic nature you know if you are living uh, if i am from the northern india and i have lot of sarso ka tel in my region but i'm stucking myself to olive oil i am the biggest fool when i'm outside i'm searching for sarso ka tel i am again a biggest big fool so what is your basic nature and what is your regional food stuck to that and if you have so much of confusion about it i have already shared you know i'm sharing this in so many years look at what your grandparents have eaten that is your traditional food stuck to that that will give you happiness so emotions in your food and your nature in your food what is your basic nature what is your root nature and what is your regional food this is very very important let me just share an example with you one of uh, you know i have we have done it so many times patient of depression patients of uh, um, anxiety they come to us and we give them a very simple exercise just sit in meditation go back to the time when you were a child what was that thing which you loved doing somebody says it is dancing somebody says it is painting somebody says it is playing drums it is singing or any other thing okay do that for 15 days 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever time you can give but you do that continuously for 15 days and when people do that we have seen amazing results in their mental health issues so same way food that is your food your regional food your desi food eating that food gives you happiness and that is the healthiest food for you don't count your food with calories all the time don't count your food with proteins all the time just imagine a plate full of food on your table and you're just counting how many calories i'm taking how many proteins how many that is giving so much of stress to you count your food with happiness eat less but eat with happiness and eat happy food tenth and last is ask yourself a few questions which i have learned from my gurudev first if you have a doubt khau ke nahi khau shall i eat or not don't eat because if this question is arising in your mind shall i eat or not that means your body doesn't need that food if you're hungry you would never give a pause and think on whether i should eat or not when you are hungry you will just straight away eat so when you have this question khau ya na khau shall i eat or not definitely don't eat and then when food is in front of you just ask yourself kyun khau kitna khau kaise khau why should i eat how much i should i how much i should eat and how shall i eat these very simple questions will give you the answers you are the best judge for yourself diet cannot be as i always say yogic schedule can't be similar for everyone same way diet can't be same for everyone don't get stuck and trapped into these fancy and fad diet market i i i would call it a market stuck to your desi food we had be we had we had been hearing this since our childhood khao man bhaya eat what your heart wants to eat but be careful about these 10 fact factors which i have shared with you so these are the 10 factors you should think before selecting a diet for you uh, now i will be sharing some very quick tips with you eat before 7 your kitchen should be closed by 7 don't eat after sunset or after 7 o'clock 7 p.m. eat happy food do not eat that food which has gone through anger which has gone through pain which has gone through death which has gone through harsh emotions always eat food given to you by nature food which is happy in nature eat happy food and stay happy say no to dabba food say no to packed food and always eat freshly prepared ghar ka khana home food always eat less than your diet these simple rules will definitely keep you healthy uh, next sunday i will be sharing a complete diet with you i have already shared few healthy diets with you but then few people want to know a general healthy diet for everyone which i will be sharing next sunday so if you want to know that stay tuned subscribe to this channel i will also be coming up with every for some days with everyday video on lot of myths about diet and healthy life 
these videos will be shared at uh, uh, my Facebook page, Acharya Pratishtha Ji. Like that page if you want to stay in touch. Thank you so much. Dhanivad. Hari Om. Jai Hind.